It's been quite a weekend. How about those Patriots? Woo! Um, it's been quite a weekend, not only because of that, of course, for us in New England, um, but because we celebrated the feast of the baptism of the Lord. And how fitting and how beautiful that is. Yesterday we celebrated the feast of the baptism of the Lord. Today we should hear today's go the, the, this gospel should be so fitting and so perfect, reminding us of our call. 2015 is a big year uh, for my classmates and I. Uh, this year we mark 25 years of priesthood. Um, there are celebrations to come. I also rejoice in anniversaries of many people in my life who are celebrating great uh, moments, great moments to reflect and to give thanks to God for their own calling, their own vocation in all sorts of different ways. Wedding anniversaries, and baptisms, um, and all sorts of other moments. It's very fitting, as I mentioned, that we should hear today's gospel right after the baptism of the Lord because it's a reminder that God has called each and every one of us, that our vocation, each and every one of us has been given a vocation. And not just once in our life, but over and over and over again. Sometimes we forget that. We think it's just one moment in our life. But God is calling us constantly, in all times and in all seasons, to do his will. And calls us in some of the most unlikely situations and moments. And all he asks us to be, is to be open. That's all he asks us in this moment. One of the things I challenge people on, and I challenge myself on, is to um, not make promises. Because in the year 2015, we all have our resolutions. And for many of us, well, we're kind of struggling with those right now. What can I say? You know, we're beginning, we're struggling, we're only human. And we make these promises and we, we expect to fulfill them for the rest of our lives and then we run into brick walls. We all do. But God is just calling us today as much as God is calling us every moment of our lives, he's calling us today to do his will. He's challenging us today. We don't have to worry about the next day or the day after that or the day after that. If we can do his will today, where he's calling us. In that marvelous moment where Jesus is calling, you know, the, the, these men, they, they're just focused on this moment, the moment in front of them that, 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 that uh, Jesus is calling them. And they're willing to let go. Can we let go today? Can we let go of our doubts and our fears and our misgivings and our past to focus on what God is calling us today to do? And it doesn't have to be extraordinary. But it always is because it's from Almighty God. There's so much to rejoice in. So much God has given us. So much that we take for granted in this world. And it's, and it's sad. It seems like only when tragedies happen that we stop and look around and realize how much we've been given, how much God has, has, has offered to us. And maybe because it's not exactly the way we, in, we intended it or we imagined it, we think this is not the way God wants it. Well, sometimes God's will is not ours. Often God's will is not ours. Can we have the courage to let go this year? Or let go today a little bit? to trust him just a little bit today, to let his will be accomplished in and through us, sometimes we'll be, you know, it, it will take, a, take everything from us at first. But then when we receive his graces, everything changes. And we find ourselves willing and able to take on the challenges around us and to open ourselves to what lies ahead. God is working in us and through us and accomplishing his will. If we can only let go a little bit. There is so much in our world to be concerned about. So much in our world that can weigh us down. We're praying for the people of, 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 of France and especially of Paris as they've been so terribly shaken by such horrible violence, unspeakable violence. We pray for so many people in our lives who are burdened with sickness and in pain and, in, and, and fear and doubts and so many other things around them. And it's easy for us to get lost and to get overwhelmed. But we belong to Christ 
as St. Paul reminds us over and over again, and Christ belongs to God. If we can let go just a little bit today, if we can trust him just a little bit today, and let go again of those nets, to walk away from the boat, to trust him today, we will do his will. And our lives will never be the same. As we continue to pray today, as we've begun this new year, and now we are in ordinary time and beginning to look ahead to what this year will bring, may God give us the courage to let go today and to follow him. Maybe, not, maybe in a direction we least likely expected. But if we can do that, what we will accomplish will not only change our lives, but it will change the world.